Hi, my name is Nasreen. I am an artist in Hawville, Indianapolis. This is my edition of Pandemic Heart. I started a painting that is still in the other room that is unfinished. Because I was having trouble thinking about what to paint and how to paint, um, I started working on this project. So I built this all out of scrap wood that I foraged from like backyards and alleys and just started sitting here while I was doing Zoom meetings and burning on it. And so it turned into kind of this journal or a chronicle of lockdown and the pandemic. The moon kind of and the compass was this idea of, you know, at the beginning of the pandemic, I thought about whether to have another child, can I do it on my own? Is it possible or feasible to be a single mom? This is the mountains um, and volcanoes. So I grew up in central Java in the center of five volcanoes. And yeah, the path away from it since then. The, the ship and the, the waves kind of were during a time that I was doing that IUPUI Religion, Spirituality and the Arts Seminar. And we were talking about um, the Noah story as a story of quarantine. The frog, um, it goes along with another painting of mine in which there's, I have it in the other room, it's a nude woman and she has a frog or a toad perched on her arm and kind of thinking about um, the body and, and how we move and interact with our bodies and how foreign that will be post-pandemic because you're sort of divorced from the body during the pandemic. Your entire life is on the screen. People perceive you through the screen. Um, and it's all, yeah, disembodied. This is a portrait of my son's father. <laughs> um, and then the planet Jupiter and just kind of thinking through what it means to be family when you don't live together. And we have a generation gap and a race gap and um, somewhat of an educational gap. We both have graduate degrees, but he went to graduate school during a time when that meant financial stability. And I went to graduate school at a time when that did not mean that at all. It's only been about two-ish years that I've lived on my own. Um, and thinking about being married and um, the like lack of male <laughs> presence in my space and how I've really worked hard to curate a lack of male energy in my space. Um, <laughs> I know that may not sound amazing, but in terms of like resident domestic space, it's stayed mine. And that's been really important. The rooster is me thinking through my heritage and like, talking to my son about the Chinese zodiac. My mother is Chinese and I was born in the year of the rooster. My son is born in the year of the monkey. And so kind of thinking through the idea of a table as the place where we teach our children about their heritage and their traditions. And then the woman kind of coming out of the sun, being above the horizon, I suppose, um, and asking for a limitlessness. Yeah, so this project is particularly meaningful to me because as a kid we moved a lot. So my father's from, his mom is from Russia and his dad is from Afghanistan and my mom um, is Chinese, Filipino uh, and we grew, I grew up in Senegal and Indonesia. So because of my father's conversion to Christianity, um, there was a lot of like political turmoil around my childhood where we had to move a lot and there was a fatwa out on his head. And so that's what this table is about, is this desire to um, rebel against a childhood of no stability and no domesticity and a, and a lack of roots and a willingness to like hope for the future and put down roots and say like, I'll feed people at this table, I'll make food at this table. I'll sit with my son and draw at this table. I'll look out on my chickens in my backyard and like the community and space that I find um, life-giving and nourishing. Um, and in this way, it's an act of rebellion. Come on, 
chickies.